Hello friends, it's Miros and today we will make a nice and useful video for every Apple user around the world. Let's start! Every year Apple releases new iOS and cosmetic changes are becoming most popular but what about the small things that makes everyday usage better and our lives easier. This video is about them, let me show you. That nasty moment when you are right on the keyboard and you need to type a number or just a period and you need to switch between the keyboards once you need to type here on the number key write your number or period and after that bring back the letters you can make that easier by when you are type something and you need to type a number two or three for example just hold your finger on the number symbol slide to the number you want four and release it that's it your number is written now and the keyboard is back to where it should be and if you want a period or something just again hold your finger select comma and release it and you can see it's back again to default keyboard number one release it useful thing which i found soon because when i type something i need to type here type here type back and again continue but now i'm typing just Swipe and keyboard is back again to letters. Second tip, when you are in submenu, for example, let's go in settings, general, legal regulatory, legal notices, and we have a couple of submenus. Now, if you want to go back again, you need to tap here on the back symbol a couple of times. But now there is a easy method to do this and you just can bring directly to settings for example let's go again to general lego and regulatory lego notices now guys if you hold your finger on the back button tap and hold on the back button and you can see you just received that stack menu and you can go back to general lego and regulatory and settings if you type on settings it will bring you directly back to settings Again, everyday usage improvement. Just go here, again, again, and hold your finger on the back button. A stack menu appears and just select general and you are back to general. Hold your finger and you can select only settings here because this is one menu back, that's it. The next one is about the maps. So if you go and write here maps, keep in mind that this will work for Apple Maps and Google Maps too. So when you type here on maps and normally if you want to zoom you need to pinch in or pinch out with two fingers and just make that zoom out or in. But if you are driving a car for example or you can use your second hand or second finger you can do this just by one finger. So double tap and when you make the second tap just hold your finger down. Move it up for zoom and move it out for zooming out. You can see how easy it is. And just double tap and hold the finger on the second tap. Now you can move with just one finger. Let's try it with Google Maps. Alright, double tap and it's working perfectly too. That's it, easy method to make a zoom on the maps. Okay, the next one is for selecting a list. Note for example, you need to type here on the three dots, select notes and you can select one by one them. And you can delete or move them. That's how it works, but now we have an easy way. Just tap with two fingers on one of the notes and swipe up or down. So. Two fingers and you can select just whatever you want. Okay, let's try it again. Two fingers and just select one by one every note. That's it. Very easy. Again with two fingers. Move up and down and you select your notes. No need to go here, select and so on and so on. Easy as that. The next one is about the typing. So if you are here in notes again, for example, I will open my shopping list and now just if you want to 
receive that shortcut menu you need to hold your finger down and it will be here copy find select look up and so on and so on but now there is an easy way to do this just tap with three fingers on your screen tap hit and the menu is here undo copy and so on or just redo this is an easy way to make that menu appear just tap with three fingers tap it and menu is here and also a quick bonus here if you swipe left it will undo and if you swipe right with three fingers it will redo the action just swipe left you can see it's undo swipe right and it's redo swipe left swipe right with three fingers this will undo and redo the action until we are here the next thing about the keyboard hold down the finger on the spacebar and you will receive something like a trackpad for more precise selecting and moving the cursor you can see how easy it is to move the cursor just with that trackpad and your keyboard again hold on the spacebar and move the cursor just wherever you want very easy and useful and until we are here at the keyboard let's just open safari and for example if you hold your finger on the period this will open all the website endings it is com org us net bg and it differs of the region you are very easy and useful if you want just to end your website so you know the screen recorder which you activate from the control center just tap here and after three seconds it will start recording your screen and if you want to stop it you need to swipe again and tap here and the video will be saved but now there is an easy method just tap here it will start recording after three seconds and when you are finishing with recording your screen just tap here on that red icon screen recording stop screen recording stop and you don't need to swipe down the control center and stop it just tap here on the red icon with the clock let's start it and again it started just tap here and stop it next future when you are at the calculator app and you are writing a long number and you need to type C or AC and it will delete the whole number but instead of that if you just want to edit one of the numbers you are right for example this just swipe with your finger left or right it will delete a number one by one and you can do this wherever times you want Let's just type again some numbers and swipe left or right and it will delete the numbers one by one okay let's start rearrange our home screen if you hold down your finger just grab one of the icons and with other finger just tap on the others it will stack and collect them one by one and you can move them in a folder or you can just rearrange them you can see how easy it is just hold the finger down start moving one icon and start tapping on the others and it will collect them one by one and you can move them to other screen or just rearrange them and here the best one is same goes in photos so just tap here hold finger and start moving one of the photos and just start tapping on the others you can just go to your home screen tap on notes and just let them here if you hold on one of the photos and just start tapping with the other finger on the other photos it will collect them and you can move them wherever you want or just rearrange them next and last future is my favorite one so you know that situation when a friend says give me your phone to watch that video or to show you something in the browser or better if you have a kid just like me and you give your phone to it just to watch a youtube video or something and it start messing everything here on your home screen or everything on the settings here comes the guided access just go to your settings scroll down to accessibility 
and here it is guided access just tap on it and let's read what's written here guided access keeps the iphone in a single app and allows you to control which feature are available to start guided access triple click the side button in the app you want to use so let's just enable it you can use a passcode here set a password i will just put a password here you need to repeat it and that's it we are ready now let's just open the youtube and give it to my kid now until you are in the app you want just triple tap on the power button it will ask for the guided access just select it guided access started you can change the settings here so you can see i can't make a volume up or volume down i want to go to my home screen but i can't i can be only in youtube here I can watch a video and make everything I want in YouTube but I can just volume up, volume down, this depends on your settings but now your kid can just watch a YouTube or your friend can use only the browser and if you want to exit that option just triple tap again on the power button and you need to enter that password. And that's it, so you can resume it and you can end it. When you end it, now your phone is back to normal. This is very, very useful feature. I like it, I use it and hope you will like it too. And here I will make a last one feature, a bonus one for the parents with the babies. So you just need to go in settings, search for control center. Here it is and you need to add here that option, hearing. Just tap it, now it's in the control center. Let's go now in the actual control center, just swipe down and here is the hearing icon. Just hold your finger here and select background sounds. Now we have a background sound. Tap here and you can select an ocean sound, balanced noise, bright noise, dark noise, rain, stream and so on. And of course you can turn it off. And that's how you can play white noises to your baby and calm it to prepare for a sleep. You can thank me by just subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.